was rummaging through my scrap wood pile here. Found all of these little pieces here. Um, just happened to arrange in a perfect shape, uh, just like this in this nice pattern. Um, and I have this piece of wood here that I got from a friend, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I know it's not purple heart, and I because it's not purpley enough for that. But it is seriously dense. I weighed it, and it's close to five pounds. So uh, it's actually it's four pounds, twelve ounces. It's just this little piece here. So uh, if you guys know what this is, let me know. It could be red heart. I don't know, but it is really dense. So in this here, I've got some of the tan oak and some uh, black oak cutoffs here. So uh, I'm going to arrange it in the pattern here because some of these are thicker. i got 8th inch and 16th inch in here, some really thin stuff. So uh, I'm going to get going, uh, glue these up first, and then uh, I have an idea on how to integrate this into here. Start with gluing this up. So, after the glue up, uh, I noticed um, that I had the, uh, had the unit strap pointing the wrong direction, so it was starting to get all wavy, so I had to put um, the secondary board in here, and it's uh, completely flat, so and nice and straight. So, um, I'm going to see... Huh, glue on, oh, took some of the plastic off, but nice. So uh, what we got to do now is just hit this with the sander a little bit, hit that with the joiner, flatten it back out, and then uh, be good to go. Nice, that's a nice looking piece. Yeah, that's a really nice looking piece. Cool. So, I've got this piece, this piece now matches the thickness of this piece. So, here's the thing. I'm going to be adding this piece to this on both sides. So, that moves the center line of my radius, the center point of this, over the thickness of this. So, if I measure this, I'm going to get 7 and 5 eighths that way. It should be 7 and 5 eighths the other way. And it is 7 and 5 eighths. So, 7 and 5 eighths divided by 2. 7 and 5 eighths, see, divided by 2, 7 divided by 2, which is 3 and a half. 5 eighths, that's 5 sixteenths. So 3 and a half and 5 sixteenths is 3 and 13 sixteenths. So that'll be my center line. So go up 3 and 13 sixteenths. 13 right there. And go the other way. 3 and Gotta be kidding me, I nailed that right on the spot. So, there's that. Wow, perfect. So, that's gonna be the very center of my bowl, so that makes it off center of this piece individually, but with this added on. So, I'm gonna describe about the radius and figure out exactly where I'm gonna cut this that's gonna move it over. Because this is gonna be going in here this way and in here this way as an offset in the middle of the bowl. So, um, I'm going to figure that out. It should be about right here and about right here because I want to offset because I want them to be able to cross going, you know, both directions. So, um, that should do it right there. Okay, so, just being right there, I should. And we'll put this here. That's exactly what I want. Offset. Let's increase that a little bit. 
The circle's not going to be exact. Yep, I hit the outside. And here, I hit the outside. And watch, like a 30 second off. So move that over. Just smooth in. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to push this down. That'll be my center spot. Which will also be the same spot where I drill the hole for the wormwood screw. So, there we go. Right in there. There's my center spot. Okay, so. Scribe this. Yep. Of course, that's going to be a little sliver right there. Okay, it gives me an idea where the bowl's going to be. Okay, so let's see uh, how close I was here on my math. And, uh, uh, pretty much dead on. Alright, so, go ahead and scrape this out. Alright, perfect. You drill the hole for the wormwood screw. I'll cut this out on the bandsaw. And then, uh, put it on the lathe. Seriously dense. Wow.
That's not finish on there, that's just burnished with the wood. So that's, that sheen that you see on there is just the wood. That's all that is. That's not a polish, that's nothing else. That's using, it's just using the shavings and the friction of it, polishing the wood itself. Now we'll put a coat of shellac on here for a tannin sealer.
took the rubber bumpers off and I have clear plastic tubing in there around the screw so the threads are not touching the bowl so it's still protected so it's going to take this tenon off and then uh, that'll be it. Ah. 